Yeah. So when a woman goes and is promiscuous with other men, it actually like I think what happens a lot of times the body actually rejects it because a lot of women will get like men can sleep around a lot of the times and they don't get STIs. I'm not saying that. Listen, I'm not saying men don't ever get STIs. Mm. Listen, listen close. I'm saying they don't get them as often as women. Mm. If a woman and there's reasons for that and anatomically and a lot of stuff that we won't get into. However, when a woman sleeps around, something subconscious happens in her mind and at the level of her core where she knows that it's not right. And she'll tend to get infections, da da da, you know, mild STIs and stuff because it's not natural. She's not supposed to be giving in the community. She's supposed to be giving to one man. And so um, I think it's nature's way to, to kind of balance it and be like, you're not supposed to be doing that. Let's get your pH back and you need to be with one man. All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom, Yashallah, peace, Israel, Kahalo, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. So, Brother Abal Kabar from the Camp Prophets in Babylon. Next, double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who do indeed teach and rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad doing his work in truth and in sincerity. All right, hey, this woman snapped, man. All right, there's a reason why modern women smell fishy, man. All right, that's the title of the lesson, which, you know, I'm going to try to keep this as clean as possible so they keep the video up, you know, but, you know, there's a lot of women, modern women today that just, you know, they sleep around and they are what the Bible calls harlots, okay, All right, um, so like, let me just search this up. This is uh, just a quick Google search. I'm just, I just Google this right now as we speak. You know, I'm just doing some research. I got some scriptures we're going to go into. And, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying to the hopeful elect. You know, and this woman at least has, you know, half a brain, you know, which there are women out there that, you know, are repented. You know, they're seeking Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So if you are a repented Israelite woman that is, you know, with one man, you know, doing right by your husband, then this lesson doesn't really apply to you, man. All right? Continue to do right by your husband, and, you know, there's a, there's a high chance you're going to gain salvation through that man. All right? Because as a woman, you're going to need a man to endure to the end for what's coming to this earth called Jacob's trouble. All right? The worst time in history. All right? You're going to need a man, and at that, you're going to need a man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? But it says, I just did a quick Google search. Who gets more STI? Who gets... STI is more, which is a sexually transmitted infection, right? Studies have established that women have a higher biological risk of contracting STIs and HIV than men. With a higher probability of transmission from men to women than vice versa. All right, so... And what she was saying, you know, the, the Lord made these women's body like that for a reason. The woman's body is only supposed to be with one man, all right? And that's biblical. That's scriptural, all right? So let me grab um, some scriptures real quick. All right? And, you know, a lot of these women, you know, they have no value anymore. You know, as a, a man of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, we're supposed to have virgins, man. All right? We're not supposed to be... With these, you know, city girl harlots, man. You're supposed to be with a virgin. And, you know, these women know that they, you know, they have no value after, you know, they've been riding the cock carousel, man. All right? And that's just the truth be told, man. Uh, this is, um, let me grab this first. Brother just dropped the, dropped a good precept. Got a few good precepts today. I'm going to read the caption. It says, she snapped. That's why a lot of them be smelling like death, brothers. A woman is supposed to have one man and one man only. Jeremiah 3 and 1. They say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? 
You know, so if you have a wife and she's a virgin, that's your wife. That's your woman. You know, but if she go from you, you know, and go sleep with another man, that's called adultery. All right. And that's punishable by death. Okay. The, de the sin of adultery is punishable by death. All right. And when you do that, the woman is defiled. Now that woman has become defiled. All right. That's why when you get with these women, um, these women have multiple personalities. You know, one day she's acting like the girl that you first met. Then she's acting like the last nigga she was with. You know, because these women, they have multiple personalities. All right. They have sexually transmitted demons, men. All right. It says, but thou has played the harlot with many lovers going into Israel. Okay. You know, the Lord is comparing us to a, a woman that's a harlot, you know, because even the men of Israel, uh, you know, committed spiritual fornication against the Lord by, you know, not uh, following his ways. You know, we went after other gods. We, we started worshiping other gods. So that's another reason why the scriptures say thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. So now when you get a wife, you get a little bit of how the Lord felt. You know, when we committed, a, uh, you know, spiritual fornication on him you, and brothers have had that feeling, man. You know, when you get a woman, you know, <laughs> she go out and play the harlot, you know, you, you feel some type of way, man. You know, but now brothers is getting strong. Brothers is getting cold, man. You know, but that's how the Lord felt when we went and we committed spiritual fornication against him, man. You know, that terrible gut wrenching feeling, man, you know. He says, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet thou return again to me, saith the Lord. You know, now we returning back to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, hoping we can, you know, be found in his good grace. All right. All right. This is, um, let me grab this real quick. There's a reason, man. There's a reason behind all of this. Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, this is a curse. Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. Hey, this is right out of the scriptures, man. You know, and these this scripture right here fits these women. This is a curse upon our women right now, man. It says, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. So now you got a woman, you know, while you at home, she playing lovey-dovey in your face. You know, as soon as you go to work, she got another man coming to the house. She going to meet with other men. She goes to work. She got a work boyfriend. She got a boyfriend for every day of the week. She got some. She got a man that's gonna pay her phone bill. She got a man on Tuesday that's gonna pay for for dinner. She got a man on Wednesday that's gonna take her out to get her nails done. And then she got she got her her sneaky link on Friday and Saturday, you know. And then then she got you, the simp, <laughs> the one that's just gonna do anything she says, you know. That's why you can't be a simp out here, man. We gotta be men, all right, and a real man. Of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to have standards, man. It's going to have, you know, a moral compass. You're going to have, you know, it's not just going to be out here just, you know, uh, uh, valueless, so to say. Which the thing is, a man is allowed to have more than one woman, too. All right, that's scriptural. All right, Jacob, you know, who the 12 tribes of Israel come from. Jacob had four wives. King Solomon had a thousand women. You know, the Lord actually... um told King David, look, if you wanted more wives, I would have gave you more wives, man. After what he did with um, Bathsheba, all right, committed adultery. The Lord told David, look, man, if you wanted more wives, all you had to do was ask, man. You know, so it's not a sin for a man to have more than one woman, as long as these women are not belonging to a, another man already. But it is a sin for a woman to have more than one man, all right? That's called adultery, all right? And adultery for a man is if I have a woman and I go get another woman and she ends and she has another man, that's adultery. All right. And both of them will be put to death, the man and the woman. All right. But if I have a woman and I get another woman, that's a virgin. There's no, there's no sin in that. All right. But Amos 7 and 17, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be in harlot in the city and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword and thy land shall be divided by line. And thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. All right. 
All right. So, you know, um, that's a curse upon our women, man. It says thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. That's why the scriptures say, marvel not if she trespass against you. You're not supposed to be like, oh my God, oh, you know, you were my cinnamon apple. You know, nah, man. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to just keep it pushing, man. Marvel not if she trespass against you, brothers. All right? She's going to trespass against you, man. All right? That's why we got to become men. All right? This is uh, Leviticus 20 and 10. It says, a man that committeth adultery with another man's wife. Notice how it said another man's wife. Even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. All right. So they would both be put to death. The man and the woman that commit adultery, you know, that's in the ancient times. You know, that's that's the laws that are coming back. All right. So um, a man committing adultery is when a man sleeps with another man's wife, not him just adding on to himself another wife that's a virgin. That's lawful, all right? A woman committing adultery is when a woman has more than one wife or more, more than one husband, all right? This is um, Isaiah 3 and 16. It says, moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, Daughters of Zion, the daughters of Israel, all right, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American women are very haughty. It says, and walk with stretched forth necks. You see, they necks all sticked up, you know, and wanton eyes. They always got them eyes. Brothers know the eyes. You know, you walking in the, the damn Walmart just to get some food and you getting seduced by Eve, you know, just staring you up and down, man. You know, them wanton eyes. You know, she probably already got a man walking around with the, uh, she got to have the, uh, yoga pants on, you know, ass all out, you know, got to have the cumbrellas, eyelashes long as shit, you know, and you know a whore by the look of her eyes, man. It says, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing, mincing as they go, making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the, the head of the daughters of Zion. That's why these women are bald, man. Why they got to wear a weave. That's a curse upon our women. That's how you know who the Israelite women is, by the way, too. Is, you know, primarily Judah, this, this uh, curse fell upon. The so-called black woman. It says what? Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughter of Zion. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. Right? That's why they smelling fishy, man. That's why they got issues down there, man. Every, every week she got to go see the doctor. Get herself checked out. Why? Because these women are very disgusting, man. You know, there was a video that came out recently. The elder, um, Manatazak of uh, South Carolina was going into how, you know, that woman that had 300 men. She was just, she was bragging about it. Then another one came out and said she had 2,000, 2,000 sexual partners, man. Now, who wants that? What kind of value can you find in that? That's, that's nothing. She's nothing. She's, a, she's going to be accounted as spittle, man. You know, you can't, you can't bond with that. You know, a woman, you're supposed to be able to bond with your woman, man. You can't bond with these women, man. All right. Why? Because they have multiple personalities. You get with a woman and she's one day she acts like the woman that you met. The next day she's acting like the last nigga she was with. All right. Because they they have sexually transmitted demons. All right. STDs. All right. Isaiah 3 and 24 says, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. You know, our woman used to be sweet down there, man. You know, because she only used to be with one man. They used to actually bathe. You know, that's another thing. Women supposed to, you know, take baths, not just supposed to take a quick five minute shower. No, you, you have a open crevice down there, man. You're supposed to get in the water. You know, our women, they used to have different flowers in the, the tubs, you know, flowers, um, natural oils, um, you know, different things inside the tub that when they went into the tub, they would actually come out smelling sweet, you know, and we're going back to that, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, our women, first of all, every brother, 
in here, you're going to have virgins, man. All right. And they, they're only going to know you. That's it. They're only going to know you. These women are not going to have multiple men out here. No, you're going to have one, all these. You, you as a man of the Lord, you held Bashmi, held with Shai. You're going to have multiple women. And your women are all going to be virgins. And when you get with them, they're going to smell sweet. All right. They're going to be bathing in natural oils, natural remedies, uh, flowers, eucalyptus, you know, hibiscus. You know, it says, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. It's a curse upon our women. They, they going to stink, you know. And instead of a girdle, a rent, you know, all out of shape. And instead of well-set hair, baldness, you know. Hey, the Judai women, they used to have real long hair, man. You know, real long hair. Now they're bald. The Lord cursed them, you know, cursed their head. All right. It says, and instead of a stomach or a girdling of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. All right. These women be burning, man. All right. They have them STIs, man. All right. And this woman was snapping, man. You know, you had the woman. Let me actually, I'm going to play this video again. And I want to try to pause it on the woman that kind of gave her a stank look, man, when she was snapping. Yeah. So when a woman goes and is promiscuous with other men, it actually like, I think what happens a lot of times, the body actually rejects it because a lot of women will get like, men can sleep around a lot of the times and they don't get STIs. Look at this woman right here. <laughs> Look at this woman, man. You already know she's had some STIs, man. <laughs> you see that face, man? Now look, let me grab this real quick. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 49. It says, like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman. So a whore is going to envy a right, and honest, and a virtuous woman. That's why now, you know, and even when these women are growing up, you might have a daughter, you might be trying to raise her the right way, you know, and she's trying to be uh, an honest and a virtuous woman. But when she goes to school, these women are shaming her for being virtuous. These women are shaming her, getting on her, calling her all these different things, you know, for being a virtuous woman, a righteous woman. All right. Hey, that's why these, these women got to go, man. A majority of the two thirds of the women is a uh, majority of the two thirds is women, man, because there's more women on earth than men, which biologically goes to show you that men are supposed to have more than one woman, you know? Hey, Shalom to the Brothers Factuals, Shalom, GMS, Virgin Island, Straight Gate, Yahweh, Bashmi, El Shai, But look at this woman's face, man. <laughs> she is pissed, you know? Because, hey, it's one thing when it comes from a man, but when it comes from another woman, that's when they kind of, they, they, get, they get the stank face, right? That's why it says, 2nd Ezra 16 and 49, it says, like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman, a whore is going to envy a righteous woman. So shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face. When he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth. That's right. The Lord's coming back and he's coming back to search out, you know, all the sins, man. All right. So let's go ahead and play this. Goes and is promiscuous with other men. It actually like, I think what happens a lot of times the body actually rejects it because a lot of women will get like men can sleep around a lot of the times and they don't get STIs. I'm not saying that. Listen, I'm not saying men don't ever get STIs. Mm. Listen, listen close. I'm saying they don't get them as often as women. Mm. If a woman and there's reasons for that and anatomically and a lot of stuff that we won't get into. However, when a woman sleeps around, something subconscious happens in her mind and at the level of her core where she knows that it's not right. And she'll tend to get infections, da da da, you know, mild STIs and stuff because it's not natural. She's not supposed to be giving in the community. Mm. She's supposed to be giving to one man. Mm. And well, you heard that? She's supposed to be giving to one man. And that's biblical, that's scriptural, man. And that's what we're going back to, man. Hey, Isaiah 4 and 1 seven women shall take hold of one man. In the time we're coming into, when all hell breaks loose, these women are going to be cleaving the brothers, man. You're going to have to be beating them off with a broomstick, man. Right? I remember that video that brother did a while back. G uh, uh, Isaiah 4 and 1 is not a rap video. 
A beautiful video. I hope I can find that again. Lord willing, share it. But, you know, in that video, he was saying, brothers, you know, you might you might have to turn down 50 women before you even find a, a one woman that you're, you're going to accept in. That's how much women going to be trying to cleave to you. And a lot of these women just ain't right. You know, the Lord's going to put it in the spirit. Nah, she ain't right. Nah, she ain't right. And then the Lord might say, you know, like, take her in. You know, you, you can deal with her, you know. So um, I think it's nature's way to, to kind of balance it and be like, you're not supposed to be doing that. And as she said, nature, that's really the Lord's way, okay? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's way of letting these women know, hey, you ain't supposed to be doing that. Hey, brothers, don't don't get fooled by these women, man. Don't think that they just living carelessly without getting punished. The Lord is punishing these women, man. Behind closed doors, what you don't see, these women got to go to the doctors every week. They got different STIs. You know, they ain't, they ain't just getting away Scott's free, man. The Lord is plaguing these women too, man, all right? Get your pH back and you need to be with one man. You need to be with one man. All right. Women hate to hear that, man, because they want to go out and play the harlot, man. This is Deuteronomy 23 and 17, the scripture that I got on the screen. It says there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel, man. All right. So this is, you know, we're a holy people, man. You know, we got to get back on track of serving your hell, Shai. You, you women got to get back on track of being with one man. All right. And like I said in the beginning of the video, for the women that are trying, hey, this doesn't really apply to you, man. All right? Continue to do right by your husband, and there's a high possibility you can be saved, man. All right? This is um, Sirach 26 and 22. It says, and harlot shall be counted as spittle. But a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. You know, when you have a woman that's, um, you know, supposed to be a pillar of rest, you come home, you know, food's made, you know, bed's made, everything's made. She's ready to, you know, get it in with you, you know, you know, rub your back, you know, a pillar of rest. But now you get a woman, she's a pillar of stress, stress you the hell out. You come, As soon as you come home from a long day at work, she nagging you. Who is this? Why is this? Why are you doing this? What are you doing? Da, 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 da. It's just a bunch of BS, a bunch of headache. You know, that's why Paul said, brothers, if you if you don't got a wife, don't go seeking a wife, man, because you're just seeking a demon. All right. It says a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. That's why, you know, these women will always say, well, I always attract the ones that are emotionally un unsupportive. You know, I always attract, attract the bad, the bad ones. Yeah, because a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So a wicked woman is going to be given to a wicked man. That's why you see all these dead-end relationships out here, man. You know? The Lord really pretty much putting a reflection in front of these women. Like, yeah, this is, this is what you deserve right here. You don't deserve a godly woman. Or you don't deserve a godly man. All right? So, hey, man, you know, I'm not going to make this too long. Kahalo, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rekak, Wadash. Lord willing, it was edifying to the hopeful elect. Brothers, factuals drop Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. That's right. Who can find one? Who can find one, man? That's a question. Hey, brothers, we're going to have to wait to the kingdom, man. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, it was edifying. Shalom to the brothers and sisters. Kahalo, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rekak, Wadash. Till next time I say Shalom.